Hello, this is Calvin. Uh, welcome to this tutorial, uh, which is basically about uh, students' ID card generation in Excel. I'm going to open the software file. So, once you try to open it up, so there will be a login section where you will be required to put in your credentials, the password, and the username. So, you are able to see this. Uh, login form so you put the password here uh, so the password is admin and the password the, the, no the username is admin and the password is admin uh, one two three four uh, so then we log in so once you put the correct credential will tell you that login successful you are logged in as admin so you put ok so when you put ok uh, you will be led to this dashboard this page where we have uh, the name of the software students ID card generation system and then we have these buttons leading us to various sections of the software so as usual I want to take you through each of these sections so we have the student uh, details here so this button will lead us to a window or a form where we'll be filling in all the student details for ID card generation. So when you click this one, this form will come up so that you are able to put the admission number. For example, uh, the admission number here, uh, uh, we need to put the code of the county, for example, Port one and the code of the county, then uh, the code of uh, the sub county, and then the one for school. Then, actually, the one for the student comes last, the four digits. So, it can be maybe, for example, 12 of 60 as the ID, as the, as the admission number, or it can be even 0, 0, 0, 001. Four zero 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 two and so on. So the last four digits, that one is the one for the students. Then this one here for the sorry, there, there should be uh, there should be three here for this particular sub county. So this is for this school. Then this one is for the sub county. Then the last two digits for the county. So that will uh, constitute the admission number for that student. So that's the format in which this system will uh, accept. Then the student name, uh, for example, uh, let, let, let's say the student is Calvin's, Calvin's uh, Uma. Then uh, the name is number, as, you, as all of you know. Nowadays, we have the name is number or UPI number. This is the unique identification number for each and every student in our schools for application purposes by the government. So, let's say the UPI number is six digits or six digit code, yes. So, let's say this is the UPI number for that student. Then, date of admission into that school. Uh, it could be, for example, uh, January 10, uh, 2017, then date of birth, let's say uh, April, April uh, 25th, 2006, then expiry, year of expiry of the ID card will depend on the admission date, so 2017, so it means expiry is 2020, after four years, then you submit this particular detail. So it will tell you uh, student details added successfully. So it means all that detail is now within, is, in, is now in the database. Then uh, uh, that will be the way you will be capturing those details to be used for ID generation, ID card generation. So you can close when you want to update. So for example, 417, 1404, 0001. That is an addition number you receive this then all the details will 
uh, display here so you can update anything you can update the name you can update the addition number anything you want to update then you will click update okay so that's how you will be updating or you will be editing those details of the students so then we have another section where we add school details so the school details will be displayed on the ID card of those students so you need to add the school details in the uh, database the system so you click add school details so when you click that button this particular window will pop up this form uh, we use to add the school details so first of all you will display the current details so you click this one to display the current details so these are the current details so if you want to change the school name for example just change this uh, for example uh, you can change it into your school for to switch your school motto to switch your school address to switch your school then you update so that's how you'll be updating the school details to suit your school uh, then we make we, 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 we can also have the we can also have a look at the database so you have the privilege to open the database when you click this one you'll be led to uh, the database you'll be taken to the database so database where you have the details for the all students so these are the details we have uh, currently in the database this, the students are a few. Uh, these are the details we have for purposes of administration. So uh, remember, we are put a student here by the, by the name Kavi Sauma with this admission number, with this name is number, date of admission, date of birth, and then the year of expiry of the ID. So when you are putting the photo, you need to uh, just insert, simply, just go to insert, then insert picture. Then uh, well, from wherever you were having those photos, so mine we have in the desktop at this uh, in this particular folder. So you have the student photos. Then, uh, for example, you can take a photo from this uh, folder. You can add you can add a student. You can add just add the student photo. For example, for example, let me pick this one here. Then uh, I insert. So when you insert you will have to format you will have to format so this one should be 0 0.57 0 0.57 inches then this one should be 0 0.69 0 0.69 inches as well so uh, okay, you should be locking the aspect ratio you can lock aspect ratio so that it fits without uh, struggling so that will be uh, the photo of that student for example then that's what you'll be doing for all the students as you put them into the database. Then after that, then you are, are good to go. So you are able to view the designs for the ID cards. The system has got two uh, designs. So we have ID design one and ID design two. So you pick whichever design you want for the generation of uh, of that particular ID or of those particular IDs. So let's have a look at, uh, at this first design. So this design you are able to see is very nice, very nice design. The design has got the name of the school at the top here, then the photo of the students at the side here, then at the middle somewhere here we have the barcode. So we have the barcode, then at the right hand side here we have the school logo for the badge of the school then we have the name of the student the name is number or the UPI number so the unique identification number is put here with the six digits then the admission number here date of birth date of ad, uh, admission or put there then expiry date of the ID card put there then the motto of the school is put right down here so as perfect excellence, that is the motto of that school. So that's how that design looks like. So uh, you are able to do uh, generation 
uh, with using that particular design. So when we go back to the home page, you are able also to have a look at the second design. So this design uh, has got the name of the school up here. Remember, you had already put the name of the school, the details of the school uh, into the system. So the ID will capture that automatically. So we have the school name up here, the admission number, the UPI number, the name of the student, the date of admission and date of birth, both of them are put down here. Then the uh, motto of the, of the school right down here. Then here we have a barcode which is very small, it is below the student's photo and you are able to see it here, that's the barcode. This barcode will be unique for each and every student uh, depending on this particular uh, ID numbers or admission numbers. So this is the photo of the student. So uh, let us change the name of the school from this to a different name and even the motto. So we'll do that, go back to the home page, then add school details. We add school details, so display the current detail. So I wanted to put this particular uh, school, so we can use Agoro Sare, Agoro Sare High School. I want a girls school, most of those photos are girls school. So we can even take um, Asumbi Girls, Asumbi Girls, Asumbi Girls uh, High School, Asumbi Girls High School, then the motto, maybe the sky is never the limit. Or even the sky is the limit. It's okay, it's okay. The sky is the limit. The sky is the limit. Though some people say the sky is never the limit, but it's okay. Then the address, the email address will be, uh, for example, Asumbi, Asumbi, Asumbi School at gmail.com, gmail.com. So that will be the email address, then you update, when you update, then it will tell you that the school detail updated successfully, then you put OK. So now we can exit that form. When you go back to the designs, you'll be able to see that those changes have been captured. Soon be that size school, then the sky is the limit down here. So they have been captured in both the, in both the designs. So even this one, you have all those have been captured. So will all depend with the student you are selecting for generation of other details. So let us see how we can now do other things, other options with the generated ID card. So we are saying that when you select the ID number here or the admission number here, everything will change on that particular ID. For example, you change it to this, you see the back of changing the photo changing, the name and all, every other detail will change automatically uh, as to change this ID numbers or admission numbers. So you are able to see that. Just have a look at that. Very interesting. You see the barcode changing very nicely. And each barcode, uh, these barcodes are unique for each and every student depending on those admission numbers. The admission number should be in that particular format where we have the first the first two digits for the county, the following three digits for the sub county, the following three digits for the school, and the last four digits is for the student. So that is what will be reflected, or that is what will be used to generate this barcode, this unique barcode for each and every student. So you are able to print for this student the ID card. So just print, just click print. When you click print, it will actually print. So when you click print, you are able to see it's printing that single ID card and it's already printed. So you can collect it from the 
the free of the printer then you can also print preview you can have a look at it how it will look like when you are printed so you can see how nice it is very nice very nice id card the very very nice id card so that's how it will look like after printing then you can print for the whole school uh, you can print for the whole school so you just click print all then all the students you have their details in the database will have their IDs printed very well. So let's for example when you click print all you are able to see it is printing and uh, every other detail is changing on this particular ID card design. You can see the picture, the photo, the barcode, everything is changing. So because we have fewer students in the database, uh, we it has only printed the, for the ones we have in the database. So that is what we are going to have. So you can see how nice it is. So when you go back to the home page, you can also use the second uh, design. So you can also print preview before you print to see how, look at the way it is. Nice, very nice. So here you can see a very transparent logo of the school somewhere here. You are able to see it. A very transparent logo nicely placed at the center of that particular ID card. So even when you print preview, you will be able to see that very faint, uh, transparent uh, part of the school. So you are able to print that as well. So you can see that's already printed for that student. Then you can also print all the IDs we have right in, in the database. So you can print for all of them. So the one we just put, put last is this one here. Uh, okay, so those are the ID cards. So you can print for all of them. When you print, so click print all, you're able to see we are now printing and the ID cards are being printed. So remember this ID card is checking the size of the ATM card the size of the ATM card. So the size of this ID card are very, very standard. When you look at the design, the first design, this size is the standard size of ID card, measuring 2.25 uh, 2 in uh, width and the length is 3.5 inches. So the standard size of the ATM card. So you can use that technology of uh, producing ATM cards to produce for your students as well. Then you give them to the students. So uh, that is how this system will work. So I know it is a new software in Excel at our level. So I would want you to click thumbs up down there give this video a thumb up share this video and do comments down at the comment section otherwise that will mark the end of this tutorial thank you